The Joker hysterics are something really weird to me, right? Or it is something weird. They're still freaking out over the weekend. I'm seeing, you know, I've already seen the movie. My review is up. If you want to check that out. But just seeing a lot of people just overreact, trip out about like acting as if this movie incentivizes some sort of violence, acting like they're irresponsible for putting out this sort of movie, um, considering what happened maybe with the shooting um, at the Batman film that did not have Joker in it. But um, they ran with this this nonsense that the killer was inspired by the Joker and all of this crap. Like it's like that to me is so weird and. More so, what I'm tripping out as we let all of these horror films exist, which are far worse than what anything the, uh, in terms of the Joker film and what that seems to glamorize, if that's where you're going with it. Though I don't think that's what it does at all. We see all of these brutal, brutal um, serial killers. I mean, not only just in the horror films and all of the, the, the which everybody, you know, we, people dress up as these folks in Halloween, Freddy Krueger, Jason. Scream, uh, you know, Chucky, like that's okay, right? That that's okay. Nobody's freaking out, but God forbid a Joker film come out. Now everybody's freaking out. It almost feels manufactured. It really does feel manufactured. Like if I was a conspiracy theorist, I would say that Disney like planted this lie and like you know. But I know if maybe I don't. I can't know. I can't prove that it doesn't happen. But bird of proof is on me, so I can't confirm that <laughs> that's really the case but it just feels so weird man these hysterics and these positions aren't universalized they're not uni universalized you got people talking about oh well we gotta have all these heightened security i'm like dude man I didn't, where i went to see the movie there wasn't that everybody got in got out it was all good <laughs> but this is where we're at and again a lot of folks don't universalize that position in terms of um, the other movies that we watch, even the other shows that we watch, which which um, has some sort of looking at violence in a more positive light and a way to resolve conflict, right? We've seen characters and main characters do that. Why Joker freaks these guys out? I'm not exactly sure. It's film, dude. Like, really? <laughs> it's film, man. Like, this is what it is. Now, that doesn't mean you got to want to like it or got to see it. Like, it is what it is. But the hysterics don't make any sort of sense. Where people are reacting like they are reacting and it feels completely manufactured. Because, like I said, it came out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere. And we're talking weeks before the movie comes out. Now, all of a sudden, it's it violence and Oh, well, this is uh, glamorizing white male toxicity and all this. Like, dude, wasn't nobody talking about this for the months that we've known this movie was going to be a thing. Now, all of a sudden, we're getting closer to the release and everybody's talking about this. Uh, that doesn't seem it seems manufactured. It seems like more of an artificial thing because so far. There hasn't been anything, any sort of crazy reaction to this. Or oh, Joker historically who has been a character that existed for over half a century. I don't get it. I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. It does not make any sort of sense that these people are reacting like this. No sense whatsoever. But that's how they are. They're reacting like. Like this is like, oh, man, take this out of theater. They should be ashamed of themselves. Bloods on their hands. Let's see, tweets say that. Put blood on their hand. Every critic that speaks positively about this movie, the blood's on your hands, they say. Like, come on, bro. Get a grip. Get a hold. Get a good control of your life, man. But think about all of the different characters, violent as all get out, that people dress up as, brag about John Wick killing hundreds of people in his movies. Ain't nobody said nothing about that. Joker kill. Well, how many people did Joker kill? Five. If you haven't seen the movie, spoiler alert. Sorry, um, I didn't really tell you anything. Um, he kills like five or so people. Yeah, there's three. I think no six. If I include somebody else that died, six. If I'm not mistaken, could be wrong. 
Six people died. John Wick killed six people probably within uh, a two-second little increment in the movie. Like, come on, bros. And like I said, all of the people that are objectively bad, that have this charisma and stuff that we even dress up as on Halloween, with, like I say, Freddy Krueger's of the world, Screams of the world, Jason. Like, come on, man. That's a... <laughs> All these like thriller, horror, f saw, right? Jigsaw. Come on, man. Like, what is this? <laughs> what is he? Where did these hysterics come from? Disney? I don't know. I can't prove that. I want to be clear. I cannot prove that. They probably didn't do it. Why would they do that? Why, why in the world would, would they try to sabotage a competitor? Why would they do that? Thank you.